Man, bang, man. man he's, yeah. A life of leisure, man. Now you're time to get to work. A life of leisure. I <laughs> you wish. I yeah. got off at midnight last night. Watched the football game, though. I got my hitting in. That was cool. All That's right. Yeah. I didn't hit anybody, but... It was it, it. it was definitely a fix to hit somebody, but you know there's some Valley kids on that, you know, uh, from PSJ North and Los Fresnos and uh, talking about the Soul RGV Soul, their new arena team. Um, they say a thousand came out. Yeah, about about. It was entertaining to say the least. It was a route. Yeah, it was a yeah. route. Yeah, like seventy six or forty something. Yeah, something like that. Forty nine. It seemed like it was gonna be a horrible situation because they opened up the game with a sack fumble. Oh. <laughs> Other than and, that, it was and, and, and auspicious a, beginning. And, and, and a score, and a score. They were should have been the clouds, and yeah, not the so, But they came. But they got they came through. Yeah, they got it together. They came through. Well, how many games will that arena league be playing? Yeah, They'll play, yeah. I think, six home games. Yeah. Hey, it's something different to do, man. If you like football, it's a little different than the regular version. Of course, my personal opinion, we won't get into. Yeah. But I mean, hey, it's something out there for you to check out. By all means, it is. It is. It's just something new, and uh, hopefully, they can make it work better than the Dorados and the Magic. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, I, my feeling on this, and I don't even know if the Roadrunners will be back this year. I'm hearing that they won't. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't work here. Professional you know, sports, it's yeah. tough. It really is tough. It right? works in some places. You know, like in Abilene for years, they had a successful thing. And it's not that the Roadrunners have been unsuccessful. They've actually won three championships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just that if you look at the attendance figures, and they just kind of leveled off, and people just don't go for it anymore, which is a drag, because I wait. I spend my whole summer out there uh, taking pictures and learning the team, writing stories. I'm not sure that that many people are interested. And it kind of bums me out. Yeah, I don't think the people are interested as well. I mean, but Maybe if they're taking a break in the summer, Pete, from all the nine months of <laughs> Consistent sports, right? I mean, maybe we're saturated. <laughs> Especially you've got a kid who plays three right. sports, you know, which right. is unlikely most of the time these days. You know, everybody's kind of just concentrated on one. Yeah. But but parents got kids and stuff. Yeah, and you can only you go do, to so many things. You do, you do. And speaking of stuff, well, we might as well just get into girls' soccer because it's about to hit the fan. All right, man. I'm excited yeah. for the playoff game. Very yeah, good. You, uh, I guess you attended the game of the week with. Uh, it was, oh, a, man, it was, it was so a win and in battle between uh, yeah, man. And Econ. Win and in, <sighs> Econ and Palmview. You know, the thing is, that team just has a certain magic to it. And I could kind of tell. I went out there because I had a feeling something good was going to happen. Those guys played good, man. And here's the thing. Palmview was actually really incredible. They uh, controlled the ball in the second half against the win. It looked like the Jags would have to settle for the penalty kick, and all of a sudden... Out came Deanna. Finally, I mean, they've been marking her and pounding her and double teaming her. She got that kind of a hurt knee. But man, she finally broke loose in the last couple of minutes and scored, and everybody went bananas. Absolutely the most fun I've had of you. Were there any signs of her wear on her knee throughout the game? You know, I watched her closely for that, and I have to say that either she's real tough or it's gotten better, which is a thank goodness for the Jags because without her, of course I say that without her, you know, it would get more difficult. But the fact is, they've got some other kids who can really score. I'm interested to see what happens to them next year. I ain't looking past the playoff game, and I hope they beat United 28-3. to But the thing is, they're going to have some talent back. I love Krista Armstrong, dude. She is a tall, rangy kid with great feet and dribbles. She's the she's going to be an excellent player. Coach Just a freshman. Has something to look forward to. For yes, he does. Yeah. He does. And they got playoff game coming up. The North girls have a playoff game at home Friday. Cat Stadium. Cat going to be good. Who do they got? They got LBJ. No, they got United South. United South. They're not United a bad South. team, but I, you know the way North has played all year, the way they solidified that second spot, I don't see a reason why. They won't perform admirably and win that game handily. I say. Exactly. And Sherryland as well in that district, they should win their game as well. I don't see LBJ. Home, home game against LBJ. Uh, Both football. programs are too good to lose to LBJ this exactly. days, and if they do, they'll be really mad, so they won't. Yeah, there you go. Um, on the... Uh, the on we the, don't even yet know. On the 31. The boys. Well, the boys, we still don't know. Uh, we just get it to the girls and mm -hmm. continue with the girls. On that 31, I mean, there was a DEC ruling. Oh, yeah, night. yeah, yeah. Wow. There was a bunch of stuff going on. They should just play on. the OT, man. Exactly. Um, Mackay gets a tougher game. Exactly. Long story short, Mackay does get the <laughs> tougher game. And uh, What at home? It is at home on Friday, and uh, they, need a, they, need, they need their spurt of offense. Their defense is intact. I mean, they, they held Memorial to that one goal, and it was late. and right. It was what it was, but... I think their their offense needs to come around and really put it together for it's. So you're saying it ain't gonna be one nothing. Uh, I don't know about the score. Uh, but I mean, in other words, yeah. Mac Allen's gonna have to score I would say, maybe two I would, wins. I would say, I would say, and uh, they can I, they can, but and because they've done it this throughout the season, mm -hmm. but they need to they need to pick up their offense. I, it's my opinion. It's humble, and but it is what it is. If they do, then they may find that the Rivetta team they get 
which by the way has not been on a roll lately. Two and two, lost two in a row, scored three goals in four games. In other words, if there's a time to play that team, it might as well be now. But yeah, they're gonna but the pace of the game will be different than they're used to. Although one could argue that, that Rivera and Memorial are similar type teams. So yeah, this yeah. in other words, guess what? They're gonna have to do it again. That's Mac Allen's quest. Yeah, and they can they, they, at they home. Can. At home. I mean you've got one of the largest stadiums in the valley. It's a lot of tradition in the yeah, program. And not only the tradition, you know, the, their fans come out. I mean, yeah. they really they take do. it seriously. Yeah, man. Really Allen soccer is very yeah, serious. Really <laughs> it's not do. like, a, oh, well, we didn't win. <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. It should be exciting. Memorial got who? Hannah? Memorial's got Hannah in Hannah. I mean, like we were talking, that it should be steadily four to win. win. Yeah, I'm pretty, at least. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens for the by district round and the. I think we're going to do good, man. I think uh, the Lady Jags are up against a pretty tough matchup. But like I said, that team showed so much spunk and moxie in coming back that you know I wouldn't be surprised if they hung with them. Exactly. I think Edinburgh North will win. So uh, what about the boys? The boys, uh, the boys, they're still PSJ North. They've got their game on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Against, uh, uh, Brownsville Betters. Yeah. Um, people, watch out. That, it's a Brownsville team, yeah. so watch out. It's at home, exactly. But it's at home. It's everything's in their favor to yeah. win. I mean, they were the district champs. And you they know, should single-handedly, you know, district champs. And uh, yeah, they the should. Curse of Brownsville. It seems all Brownsville teams are in the playoffs, and they got a different style, man. <laughs> even the ones that don't get into the playoffs seems they're in the playoffs. But anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, it's definitely later than the girls, so. What about Mac Allen now? What about the Mac Allen boys have to win, right? Yeah, they, they, they win. They keep second, and so then good. they'll yeah, then they'll be able to have a Los Fresnos exactly. instead of Rivera. That's what you want, right? Yeah, yeah. Now who else is in there? PSJ, uh, North, it's North Allen, Mac Allen, um, West Laco, San Juanito, exactly. Right? Or PSJ Memorial. 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 Right. Memorial is actually yeah. yeah. Okay. Memorial's yeah. in. That they are looking to get Rivera. Soccer is going to be interesting simply because every team that goes up against a Brownsville school has to account for that different style, yeah. right? They just play a different type of soccer. It's not like they, you know, were born in Nept on Neptune or something. But it's that's right. more they <laughs> run right true. Uh, they run and they run rings around their yeah. opponents. Actually, <laughs> you gotta love that. We didn't plan that. Yeah. Perfect. So hey, I don't see any reason why McAllen soccer can't score several uh, playoff victories yeah. in the next couple of days. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, that's the soccer. It should be interesting this playoffs time. Weekend, yeah. What am I going to do though? Am I going to go see Edinburgh North girls at home on Friday or Cat Stadium, by the way, not at home, Cats? Or am I going to see the softball grudge match? Can I possibly not go to EHS North softball? I don't. I don't know if I can do that, Pete. I, I yeah, I don't think you've ever missed it. Have you? No, no, yeah. no. I, you know, and if I did, it was because I was unconscious. I mean, yeah, that's so, my favorite thing. Well, that's going to go down. I mean, Edward North, they're on, obviously on a roll. Both Edward North. So, hey, um, number ones, twin number ones. Dime, on the diamond, they're doing really well. Uh, in the top ten poll by the... <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, let's just get with that game, the softball game. You just uh, made a turnover. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, the soft, the soft, <laughs> let's get to that softball game, EHS, Edinburgh North. Uh, EHS has been playing games they can win, and they've been winning handily. They want another chance at uh, the Lady Cougars, and they're going to get it. And they're going to get it at home. So I feel like it's going to be very competitive with a 3 nothing the first time. I don't think there's a reason why EHS can't compete with North. Now, the, the way that team is hitting the ball, though, sometimes you're kind of like, God, I mean, yeah. they're just going to get 10 or 12 yeah. runs. They won't get 10 or 12 against the Bobcats. I guarantee you that. I think it's going to be a great game, and, you know, like I said, I'll probably just have to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and Bay Lake Corner meetings tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that is tonight. On the. Um, Baylor's hanging out. They have three losses. They're right there. All they have to do is have one of those teams stumble. They pull off an upset. There they go. I don't know whether they'll do that, but in other words, it's the usual four team thing. Exactly. That's kind of what that district has been. It's going to change a lot next year, but for now, it's those four great teams. Will they beat all the crummy teams, and then who will beat each other? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Sherryland's doing well. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah, in yeah. fact, they're tied. I think them and Bobcats tied yeah. in the lost column. Yeah. Uh, I think they were probably surprised a little bit uh, at what North was able to do to them. You know? uh, I think the, well, as we, when we get to baseball, we'll talk a little more about surprise, but I think Sherryland team still has the quality to win the district. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of baseball, last Friday night, Edinburgh North oh my God. finally got one against oh Sherryland, and it was a rout. Big uh, fist to the Cougars, man. I, I, got I, through. I, I'm, what? An 11 run inning? Yeah. Do, 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 do. What? There, against Sherryland? It's impossible. There was people getting to the game late, and they are oh like, boy. man, they're still in the second? Yeah, they're still in the second. It was tough. I wow. mean, I don't, Sherryland hasn't been through this. Those kids, for sure, haven't been through this. I mean... They've been winning. All they know is winning. Not only did they have they had they not lost since 2010 in district, but now they've lost twice in a week. 
So the question is, and I still very much believe in that team, oh but God. psychologically, I, I can't even, yeah. what's Psych the question now? What do you got to do? The question now is just digging down and going up to every other team that's left on your schedule. Bam, bam, bam. And they might. And, and yeah, I yeah. mean, they're pissed. They're not, this is not, yeah. they're, this is not their territory. They don't. And it wasn't like it was four to three. I know. And this is, this like me saying this is not their territory, I'm talking school-wise. Right, right. That school just doesn't believe in losing, which right. is amazing. And psychologically, they must have great counselors over there. Nah. But. <laughs> Counselor's like, you will not lose. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that, that's that's what it is, Greg. These, these, these teams don't lose. I mean, yeah, you yeah. see it all over the place. I mean, well yeah, trained yeah. and very uh, very talented teams. Yeah. Now, so okay, you lose two games in a week. What do you do next? I think you just come out and play ball, man. I mean, don't worry about everybody says you're still a good team. Go ahead and beat Vela Tuesday, and then start a winning streak, and you may end up winning the district. Nobody said North not gonna go 16 and 0. Exactly. I don't well, think you they're halfway know. there though. Most of the time, you never know. They're, I mean. I went to, obviously Friday I made the choice. Yeah. I went to see a corner meeting and I'm glad that I did. It was a neat thing. But boy, in the back of my mind, when I read about that game, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> yeah, God. but still, I mean, North deserves to be where they're at. They deserve all the accolades. They're, they're first one. right now, yeah. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. And who's so. right behind them? La Jolla. And they play tonight, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, so it's, you know, it's a tough game and then another tough game. That's a good district, man. Palmview is an excellent team. Yeah, they really uh, EHS are. has made it to 500, so that's a good lick for them. And Vela, I feel like they can get on a roll. I like the way the team is coming together, but there's just there's some heavyweights ahead of them that are still pushing them down, period. Yeah. 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 On the other side of the districts, uh, Westlico remains on top. As we they, said, they're uh, playing well. Yeah, they really are. They're, they're, they're 6 and 0. Um, they're always well skilled. I, they, I always The impression I got from watching Westlico is that they did a lot of practice. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. look, they all had that certain hitting style. Sure. I mean, them guys they had a lot of wiffle balls, so yeah. you know, I always yeah. respect them. Who else? So, Macau's not doing bad. No. They're a three way tie, right? Well, yeah, but first there's Roe. Oh, yeah, Roe. In second. Right. McAllen's in a three way tie with, with uh, Memorial. Okay, well, the McAllen. Give Memorial I mean, credit. The city of McAllen, yeah. I mean, McAllen and ISD, they're doing really well. Soccer baseball. baseball, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's awful. Too. Um, and PSJ. PSJ still in the mix. Now, those last three teams are in the hunt at four and two. Yeah. Um, so, five and one, six and oh. With Fear Roe, the Bears. The Fear the Bears for no other reason than they always are good. They're almost like a Sherry yeah, Land. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's tradition. Do. Yeah, they're, the year they're having this year is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no, don't be surprised yeah. if they go from four and two to like nine and three. Yeah. They're tough, yeah. man. They, they, not necessarily only on talent. Uh, McAllen seems to be hanging in there. Ro, how about Row though? Row in, in both softball and baseball. In fact, what we discussed, there are three teams in the Valley in, in the top ten yeah. by the paper called the Boop. Yeah. Uh, and they're Los Fresnos. Edinburgh North, North, number one, and Rowe. And Rowe at two and three. That's tough. So Rowe's had a great year. And yeah. in track, they're doing very well, yeah. too. In softball, I mean, I don't know. They're doing well. They're doing well, but on on softball, in the diamond there, mm -hmm. it's Mack High. I mean, they're they're gearing up to make a run. They're gearing up with uh, the Tom Seaver-like <laughs> Zabana, right? 200 strikeouts? That's it's an unheard that's of That's a ton. Number. I mean, it's a great, it's a great yeah. number. She's Pulling in on 600 strikeouts, and they got young talent as well. Um, they I think they can make a run. So what a good district that yeah. is. Okay, so you it's, think it's it's that district, and man, I'm not even gonna go there. But well, nah, yeah, the black and blue. It's, 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 I'll go there. It's I'm that gonna... district, man. I mean, it's it's a it was a great district for however long it lasts, two years, whatever, and. Um, yeah, let's not go yeah. there though. No, that's we where. I, that's oh, that's I mean. where you. That's, that's the there. I'm talking about. That's the there. I, I don't want to go there. Yeah, either. so you're right. God. Uh, I wanted to stay the same. Now that we know the people, you know. Yeah, well, well, it's not stay the same. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Uh, every every once a month, we must lament the changing <laughs> of the district every two years. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It yeah. happens. What are you gonna do about it? Demographic yeah. destiny, as it were. It's a it's a higher power, and some might even say there's some legislative. Issues involved. Yeah, I see. A political <laughs> yeah. component. Not that my friend is a radical <laughs> conspiracist or anything. All right, so uh, we got soccer. We got, we got baseball. We got we got baseball. We got what about track? Now, the district mates are in two weeks. They're in two weeks, yeah. They're coming up. Uh, 9th through the 12th, I think, for the for 35A. Uh, I saw a high jump. Make sure to check out the picture of Brendan Rivetta. I think it came out pretty yeah, well. The review, indeed. Uh, He's a nice guy. Um, that was I a like great him. photo. Yeah, it was a good and photo. And he is a good athlete. Once he gets a little bit man strong, he's going to be at 6'10". I, I, I almost guarantee it. You were saying that he, he might qualify for state. You can he see can that. do it. It just depends on the climate. I've got the express news and all these other things. I'm trying to divine the tea leaves. But some years, if you can get 6'8 at the regionals, you might get out of there. You know, I mean, 6'6", six, 6'8". Six, six, it just depends. Yeah, yeah we'll see what happens. Uh, Sherryland's always 
They always do well. August yeah. Denim. Yeah, that's a great name, but not denim like the jeans. <laughs> Denham, right? D-E-N-H-A-M. Yeah. Denim, as it were, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the track meets are coming up, the, the district meets in two weeks. Baseball, softball, soccer. Oh, let us not forget this interesting note out of Edinburgh High. Which one? Coach Escobar. Oh, okay, okay. As we get to know Joaquin Escobar, it, 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 it becomes apparent that he is a guy who is intent on psychology first, and attitude and character. He's not even worried about X's and O's, man. He wants to learn what the kids are like, and he wants them to learn him. I think he's so far jumped in, and, and it seems like his energy's been cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and he what has this thing. What does he have going on? Let me just grab this right flyer here. here. This is cool, man. One in a hundred, the uncommon man, spring 2014. This is a mentoring program that the Bobcats are putting on, and they're looking for volunteers, as I understand. Right. This is from the city of Edinburgh uh, yeah. community and stuff like that. To work with the kids and show them all kinds of things, man. I don't even know necessarily what the specifics are. It's just that any mentoring program that brings successful people into a school is a good lick. So yeah. I want to recommend this and we're going to give them a number here if we have one. 432-934-5450. That number again, 432-934-5450. You note the out of valley area code because yes. this is the new coach of the Edinburgh Bobcats and boy do we hope that he hits the ground running and does well. We were talking about it. Some people may say, well, EHS lost this and that, Harrison's not the... Uh, if you look at the district they're going to play in next year, I think they have a chance to compete. I really went there. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, sorry. That's yeah. uh, cool. No, it, but no, but yeah, we're, like we, we were talking about it, and yeah, no, they really do have a chance to compete. Mm -hmm. I mean, the right. district's going to be with that district. It's going to be flattened up into a whole bunch of teams that are pretty good, but you're going to lose the Sherrylands. You're going to lose. Yeah. You bring the West Lacos in, but you also bring two Fars in that were combined three and seventeen last year. Yeah. So, and you lose Vela, which is a team on the cusp of making the playoffs. So, just uh, quality-wise, it's not a value judgment. It appears that, that that's a good district to be in for a new coach with a program. It's what that's it is on paper? Show. I right. mean, you can't deny it. it's what it is on paper. But, but Coach Escobar, to, to conclude, uh, his spirit, his energy, he looks you in the eyes. He's a tough-looking little guy. You know, I bet you he would hit you like there's no tomorrow, man. Well, yeah. yeah. Outstanding. And so he's got a chance to see his kids, and he really likes the, 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 the tenor, the caliber of the kid. And that's what this whole thing is about, is working on other things besides football. And I think it's a wonderful idea, and I wish him the best of it.